Welcome to another video for the Subriman and Geometry course. In the previous video, we have defined our main objects of study, namely Subriman and manifolds, and more generally, sub finstrad manifolds. And we have equipped them with the Carnot Karateodri distances. In this video, we will prove the first important result that says that in each sub finstrad manifold, Carnot Karateodri distances give the same topology as the manifold structure. Let me stress that this fact will be a consequence of the important assumption that the subbundle is assumed to be bracket generating. Let's see the theorem. In our setting, we have M with a norm, things like manifold. Then we have fixed a uh, bracket generating uh, sub, sub bundle of the tangent bundle, which is called multiple distribution. And these are the data that gives a sub finstrad manifold. And to, to this data, we define in the previous video the Carnot Karate order distance, also called sub remaining distance of CC distance. Next, we are going to clarify two things. First, that the CC distance is finite value. Finite value. So really, the distance between two points is a finite number. Mm -hmm. Two, the, this distance induces a, a topology uh, on the manifold, and this is exactly the same as the manifold topology. And briefly, this will be, uh, be done by the fact that bracket generating will, will, uh, will give us that every two points can be connected with a horizontal curve, and therefore the distance between those two points is finite. And actually, one can prove that for close enough points, one can choose a short curve. Okay, so let's prove these facts. So let's, let's, let's state it uh, first as a, as a theorem. It's an important theorem in the field. So this is due independently by Chow and Rachevsky. Okay, so let's say we have um, uh, polarized manifold. This is another name to say uh, a manifold with a distribution. Um, with, so let's remember that we are assuming M connected. M connected. And, and delta bracket generating then for every pair of points p and q in m there exists gamma a delta horizontal curve from p to q Okay. Um, okay, let me first say something about the fact that maybe this theorem is not completely, um, it's not very surprising because, I mean, once you prove that the space of points that you can connect uh, from a given point, so all those P, all those Q that you can connect to P, they form a manifold. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'll just write quickly, not surprising, once one proves that, and this is even even if, um, if delta is not bracket generating, uh, 
package in uh, the, the set of all those queues in M that uh, you can connect by a horizontal curve from P to Q, this is an immersed This last theorem, which is stronger than what we will prove, is called um, um, Sussman's theorem. Okay, but let's concentrate on Charles' theorem. Okay. Now, for proving Charles' theorem, I'll just call it Charles' theorem. theorem. We introduce some terminology coming from um, um, control theory, the notion uh, of reachable set. Okay, here's the definition. Suppose now we have a, any family of vector fields. So if you have a manifold, and I will then all the M, the vector field. So this is a family of smooth uh, vector fields on M. We fix a point T in the manifold and we fix a time T, so positive, actually you can even consider it to be plus infinity, but um, not now. So the reachable set for f from p at time less than t is, so the symbol will be kind of the flow according to f time less than t starting from t. This is all, all the points that you can con obtain flowing with vector fields in f. So what do you do? You take f, and then you flow um, respect to a vector field x1 for some time t1. And then you flow again x2 time t2 to many times. And say we do it k times. Okay. And so k is a natural number. Ti is, you consider them all positive times. And the sum of all the times is should be less than t. Okay? And of course, the most important thing is the vector field xi's are vectors in the family F. Okay? Now, look at this, this curve here. So what we are doing in this curve, we are starting from p, following along x1, then following x2 for some time t2, and so on. At the end, what we will have, we will have a, a curve that is a piecewise union, uh, a piecewise collection of curves that flows of vector fields of, on F, hmm? which means that if F are vector fields tangent to a distribution, then this curve will be horizontal. Okay, I'll drag it quickly, so, so no, if f is uh, the section of, of a, of a sub-bundle, then uh, uh, the point p x k k p x one p one p um, is the final point. Point of a horizontal of a delta horizontal curve from P. Okay. Now, what we will prove is Charles' theorem in, in the language of this um, reachable set is the following theorem. So, if you take um, a family of vector fields such that, now two properties, so we will have with F, 
coincide with minus i. So if I have a vector field, I also have double the minus that vector field. And the Lie algebra generated by this family, evaluated at an arbitrary point P, gives the whole tangent space. Okay. So in other words, this is a bracket generating family. Okay? Then, for all time t positive and for all p in the manifold, we have the p is the, in the interior of the reachable set for f a time less than t starting from p. So starting from p in time less than t, you can reach any point in some small number. Hmm? Actually, we will prove something even stronger. So make a remark. So we will prove the theorem uh, with the bound on the number K of vector field from, from F, um, and the bound is actually K less or equal than twice the dimension of M. Remember, in the um, definition of reachable set, you can take arbitrary number of vector fields, but actually 2N twice the dimension of the manifold will be enough. Okay? Actually, let me make it. Um, I'll, um, ma I'll make a claim now that is uh, part of this theorem, but is even stronger than it is using this. Uh, is, uh, is claiming also this part. So here's the lemma F is a family of vector fields uh, such that they are the bracket generating. Okay. There is no requirement of, uh, the, of uh, having also the uh, that f is equal to minus. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's call n the dimension of the manifold, and and we fix t a positive time. Mm -hmm. Then there are um, two, there are n vector fields so equal to the dimension to f in f, such that if I take the points P um, in so each of them less than some in T to N. So this is a vector of times, right? so this is a subset of Rn, and I map it to the flow of T N X N flow um, T1 X1 P. Okay, this is a subset. Uh, a point in, in M. Then I'm claiming that uh, there exists some this xi for which this map covers some non empty open set subset of M. Okay. So I start with P, I will be able to flow such a way that varying the time with a bound. Then I will cover really a neighborhood of uh, of some point. This is the lemma that I'm going to. Okay. Proof. So, all right. Okay. If the the dimension of the manifold is equal to zero, I mean this is obviously true. That we have done. We have done. Okay, so M is just the point P. Okay, um, otherwise, okay, so if the dimension is at least one, we can take a vector field, X, okay, such that X1 at P is different than zero. Okay, this should exist, right? So which exists, why it exists, because so we are going to use many times the, the assumption that uh, the Lie bracket of f at p is equal to uh, p n. Right? So not all the vector fields can vanish at p. Hmm? Okay. So um, so we we have, we have this point, 
we have the vector, our vector field is non-zero, then we can flow along this vector field with positive time. And therefore, um, therefore there exists x1 in zero, uh, zero excluded zero t, such that uh, the set where the flow lines, I'll just take the flow lines, t x1 t, with t varying between zero and epsilon one, this is a, it's a curve, so it's an embedded curve, is a one dimensional embedded submanifold of n. Okay. If the dimension of m is equal to one, uh, we are done. Um, why? We are going to use this fact uh, again. So if you have a sub-manifold of dimension n in a manifold of dimension n, then this is an open set. Mm. Okay. So we are done. Otherwise, Otherwise, what, what do we do? Okay, otherwise I claim that there exists x2 not tangent to m1. Why this should exist? Which exists since otherwise f would be uh, tangent to M1, and so and so the Lie bracket of the family would be tangent to M1, but uh, but then what do we have that for, for all Q in uh, M1, what we have is that the, the the Lie algebra uh, by f evaluated at q, right? so this would be a subset of the tangent at q on m. Hmm? So this is where you said it's a, a smaller subset of the tangent at m, and for the for the condition of bracket generating, this is the Lie algebra, at q, right? So we get that contradiction. Right? So now uh, here I'm using something important. I'm using that if you have a family of vector fields tangent to a manifold, then the lead bracket is still a vector field tangent to the, sub the same submanifold. okay? So, so this is something important that I'm using. Okay, good. So uh, we have, so in the, in the picture we have P, we have X1, we flow, and then we have found another point where there is a vector X2, that is not tangent. So now what we are going to do, we are going to flow at points near, uh, so along, we, we follow the curve for some time and then we flow along X2. And we are going to generate a surface, okay? So, so there exists some time P1 hat in zero, zero epsilon one and there exists some x2 in f such that um, x2 uh, of the flow of along the curve so this, is a, this is the point along the curve so this point is not tangent back to m1 okay and now we consider the map the surface map uh, the map T1, T2, going to flow. So first we flow along X1 by T1, then along X2 by T2, the point T. Hmm? So th this map has maximal rank. Actually, we've got to do. Hmm? At every point, uh, T1, T2, 
near uh, the point T1 hat zero. Mm -hmm. And moreover, we may assume, we may assume that T1 and plus T2 so is still less than the time T. Okay, so we, we covered the surface. Now, either the surface um, has the same dimension of the manifold, and then we cover it open set, or again, we find a third vector field and we continue. Okay, now proceeding in this way. We found that for all k, one until the dimension of n, we obtain vector fields x1, xk, and f, such that the map uh, okay, the map to T1, T, K associates T, T, K, X, K compose with F, X1, T1, point P. This has maximal rank equal. Okay, at some point, T1, Tk hats, hmm? with, you can know, take the sum of the Tjs, uh, S and T, and all of them positive. Hmm? Okay, so now we can apply the maximal rank theorem. By the maximal rank theorem, uh, what's called that? I mean, it's not just an application if you want to we can apply the inverse mapping theorem. Then we have the exist um, some UK neighborhood. Uh, of this point, T1, K, such that the image under this map of UK is a k-dimensional um, embedded submanifold. of N. Okay, when does this procedure stop? Exactly when k is equal to n. So this procedure stops when each element is tangent to uh, element of, uh, of, uh, of the family. Uh, element of f is tangent to mk. So necessarily, uh, for such k, we have that mk, uh, we have that k is equal to n, and mk is a open subset of n. And this proves the lemma, that as soon as the family is Lie bracket generating, the reachable sense contains some open set. Okay. Now, let's go back to the theorem. 
Actually, the, the thing the theorem is called orbit theorem. Okay, I will re quickly write it. So the theorem says that if you have a family of vector fields such that they're invariant and bracket generating, then for all t in positive and for all p in n, p is the in interior of the reachable set. Okay, right. We are almost uh, done proving this uh, experience. So we covered an open set now, but we would like this open set to be a neighborhood of P. So now what we have to do, we have to just go back to P. Okay, I'll make this claim. So assuming, which is yeah, a stronger statement than the theorem. So assuming the same assumption, f is equal to minus f, and the bracket generating, we have that there exist vector fields, and now not just n vector fields, but have to take two n vector fields, and n is the dimension of the manifold, um, such that p is in the interior of a subset of the reachable set, and it's like this. I flow along this vector field. So I, I to fix the vector fields, and this, this vector fields will be enough to cover an open set around P. Okay, so should be clear that this lemma uh, proves the theorem. Okay, so now let's prove the, the claim. Okay, so now we know that we can take n vector fields to cover an open set, so such that t in uh, zero. Okay, now I will change the time. Let me take uh, not time t, but t divided by 2n. So I will apply the, the lemma with uh, this new time. It was true for any time. And this goes to the flow of tn, xn, flow of x1, t1, t. So such a way that this covers an open set. subset of M. And now I take Q uh, in, in such open set. So picture here we have Q, we can flow, we get to Q and actually we even cover a neighborhood of Q. Mm -hmm. Now we will go back, okay? We will go back to see it's, it's clear that from Q, you can go back to P. Mm -hmm. And with the, some fixed times, mm -hmm. we go back to P. So now what we'll do, we'll cover a neighborhood of Q with a variable time and go back with those fixed times. And why can you go back in time? Exactly because we have the assumption that you can flow along minus the vector case. Okay? So I will notice two things. So. Uh, one, so the vector minus i's, this is also in f, which is vector f is equal to minus f. Actually, this is the only time we are going to use it. And um, now if, um, so if, um, let me, let me, let's define first. So take, uh, take T1 bar, Tn bar um, in the domain of definition of the above map. Um, this was actually 
n is n, n times. Okay, uh, such that q is the image of that map. So it's flow of x n p n bar compose compose p x one p one bar. Okay, so you reach q from p with these given times. Now the second thing I wanted to notice is that the map the 20 point q prime which you think it's, it's here q prime then if i flow by p minus x okay remember from from q i would like to go back to p so at the end so the first map that i apply it should be xn at times or minus xn t n bar Compose, compose, p1, p1, p1. So this map applied to, to prime is a different, so just a composition of uh, flows and sends uh, q to p. Okay, so now let's compose this map with the with this uh, this map here. So. Therefore, uh, the map t1 t2 to the n uh, 2n going to t uh, minus x1 t n plus 1 um, compose compose t minus x n t 2n compose p um, x n p n actually I, I can put in the same order um, and this q n dot 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 compose p x one p one like to p and you see mm -hmm. then these maps with uh, again t i is positive and some of the pi's okay. uh, each of them was less than t over 2 to the n at 2 to the n and the sum is less than t this covers a neighborhood of p so the claim is p. and therefore in particular if you take all reachable set of f in time less than p this is a neighborhood of p theorem is proof okay we are ready then to prove chavrachevsky's theorem so i'll recall the theorem so we have a uh, sub Riemannian manifold, uh, sub Finsler, sub -Finsler manifold. Uh, so, which I remember, remind you that means that in particular the M is connected and uh, delta is bracket generated. Mm -hmm. Then the Carnot Caratiori distance is finite, it's finite value. And the uh, the metric space M with uh, equipped with the distance the Carnot Caratiori distance is homeomorphic uh, to M as a manifold. Hmm? Okay. Now in the proof we will do like this. So we will apply the, the the previous theorem that we, we proved. Um, so we consider f the family of vector fields tangent to uh, delta but not not all of them but those that have length less than one so it's good so we know that every time we flow we, we don't flow for time greater than one so these are the vector fields delta tangent to delta such that the norm every point is less than one for all t in n Okay, 
So it's, since x, uh, since the norm is a norm, then then if you have a vector field, you also have minus the right? the vector field in this family. And uh, since the span of f is exactly the all tangent vector fields, you have the, the Lie, Lie, Lie algebra generated by f is the is equal to the Lie algebra of all the vector fields. So we have the, the Lie algebra is bracket generated. Mm -hmm. So we can apply the, this, the orbit theorem. We have that for all t in M uh, and for all time t, the, the reachable set for f time less than t from t is an open set. So it's not, it's, not, it's a neighborhood, it's not an open set, it's a neighborhood contains in, um, in its integer p. Mm -hmm. This is what we already proved. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I, I recall you what, how was the uh, reachable set obtained? So it was points of the form x, k, t, k, composed of the dot, phi x1, t1, t. These are all points, and all these points are the endpoint. of a curve that is tangent to F, in particular is that the horizontal. And this curve is actually is, is a concatenation of curves of the form uh, T goes to is a flow line for some vector field tangent to that. So it's a horizontal. Okay. Moreover, since uh, we are going to take x in f, so this norm is less than one, then the these curves have length uh, uh, in the interval zero t have length less than uh, than, uh, than t. So, so note that the, the, the physical length of the curves, uh, uh, so it's called gamma, gamma restricted to an interval 0, a, this is less or equal than a. Hmm? This is because, uh, so if if x is in f, the norm was less than one. And, and therefore, what we have is that these concatenations of curves as really time equal to the sum of these times. And therefore, what we have is the reachable set, less time less than t of the family f, of t, this is for sure contained in the cc ball center of p of radius t. I hope this is clear. Oh, because now from this day, the proof is almost done. Okay, from this, we deduce that every uh, P in M has a neighborhood on which uh, the CC distance is finite. So, if you put all T, so T is a neighborhood, so, um, and T, so this is a neighborhood where the distance is less than T. It's a neighborhood. Okay? Now, by connectedness, the manifold is connected of M we get in the triangle inequality, we get that uh, this is, is finite. For, for every pair of points. So let's say distance, 
is q in q is finite for all q in q in n. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's really talk about the topology. Okay, so let's call tau uh, cc the topology uh, given induced by dcc and tau m the topology of n as manifold. Hmm? Okay, so we have to prove that these topologies are the same. So let's first prove that tcc is containing tm. Okay, so um, let you uh, an open set in TCC and P point in U. Uh, then, by the definition of the TCC topology, there exists some radius for which the ball, the CC ball, P radius T, this is contained in U. These are the open sets by definition of programmatic. Since we have P less than P, the reachable set of P, this is contained in B, C, C, P, T. And uh, the same set, P, is a neighborhood, now the neighborhood in the manifold, tau m neighborhood of P, then we have that u is also a tm neighborhood of p. In other words, tcc is contained in tau, tau cc is contained in tau m. Okay. Last inequality, so why is tau m contained tau cc? Let u actually okay, this is this is much easier uh, uh, in the containment. Mm -hmm. So now what what we consider we consider the the Fiesler distance Fiesler distance associated to M uh, to to the norm, you know, really like the Finster norm. Okay. Then, when you when you when you infinite along all the curves, what you obtain is that um, the CC, since it's, it's the infinite along less curves, is greater or equal than the Finster distance. Okay? And moreover. Uh, the topology, let's call it tau f, uh, given, you know, induced by the f um, equals the topology of the manifold, and this is because uh, because uh, in coordinates the f is by Lipschitz equivalent to the median distance in coordinates. Hmm? And now we're done because, okay, so uh, the CC topology, because of its property, contains the Finsler topology. The finish of topology is equal to the manifold topology because of this equality here. Okay? And we are done and we prove Charles' theorem that the uh, Carnot Carateodori distances induce the manifold topology on every sub finster manifold. If you like the video, you can let me know by clicking the like button. This will also suggest the course to other people. 
If you want to see more videos on Sabrina and Geometry, please subscribe to the channel. Click in below.